Hi, and welcome to How to Improve Science Performance Through Strategic Note-Taking. Today we are going to talk about Newton's third law of motion. You should already know that a force is a push or pull on an object that results from its interaction with other objects. If you didn't catch that, I'm going to say it again. Forces result from interactions. According to Newton, whenever object A and object B interact with each other, they exert forces on each other. When you sit in your chair, your body exerts a force downward on the chair. And the chair, like, likewise, exerts a force upward on you. There are two forces resulting from this interaction, a force on the chair and a force on your body. These two forces illustrate Newton's third law of motion. Write this down. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. One more time. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This statement means that in every interaction, there is a pair of forces acting on each other. The size of the force 20 newtons, okay? The size of the force is equal to the size of the opposite force. 20 newtons pushing down, 20 newtons pushing up. The direction of the force of the first object is opposite to the direction of the force of the second object. Down, up, but equal amounts. You should know that forces always come in pairs you should know that forces always come in pairs. And the interaction of these pairs is always equal and opposite. There are many examples of Newton's third law all around us. One of the best examples is a rocket. A rocket in, a rocket in its simplest form is nothing more than a large tank filled with gas. When the gas is released, the rocket is launched. A balloon is a very simple rocket. If I blow it up, I now have a tank filled with gas. Now let's see if I can show you Newton's third law at work. All right. So what just happened? When I let go, the gases pushed out this way, and the balloon went in the opposite direction. So the balloon pushed the gas with the same amount of force that the gas pushed on the balloon, equal and opposite directions. All right, please write or draw this example. When a gas escapes from a balloon, the forces are equal but opposite. The gas leaves the balloon in one direction, in our case this way, and the balloon goes in the opposite direction. Equal amount of forces, opposite directions. Let's consider another example. Imagine a fish swimming through water. The fish uses its fins to push the water backwards. But the water, according to Newton's third law, must also be pushing on the fish. In this case, it's pushing the fish forward. Fish pushes the water backwards. The water pushes the fish forwards. The size of the force on the water equals the size of the force on the fish. And the direction of the force on the water backwards is opposite the direction of the force on the fish forwards. So again, take a moment and either draw or write down this example. A fish's fins push water backwards, and the water pushes the fish forward. I'll say it one more time if you want to write it. 
A fish's fins push the water backwards, and the water pushes the fish forwards. Fins push the water backwards. Water pushes the fish forwards. Finally, let's consider one more example of Newton's third law in action. I want you to think of a push-up. When we get into the push-up position, our arms are bent and our bodies are flat on the ground. Which way do we actually push? Down. We are actually pushing on the ground and we're pushing down. But which way does our body go? Our bodies end up going up. And the reason our bodies are going up is because the floor is pushing back on us with equal and opposite force. So really, it should be called a push down. Because you're pushing down on the floor, but the floor is pushing back on you, so our bodies go Again, take a moment to either draw or write down this example. We push down on the ground, and the ground pushes back on us, which lifts our bodies. Now that you know all of Newton's three laws, I have a question for you. Why are they so important? The reason that they're actually so important is because these laws explain all of the motion of objects in the universe, from a flyaway balloon, to a fish swimming through water, to the sun and the planets in our solar system. These three simple laws explain the motion of everything. It's important to know that these three laws explain the way that everything moves, including you and me. One more time. It's important to know that these three laws explain the motion of everything, the way everything moves, including you and me. So let's review. Okay. Newton's third and final law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Three examples of this law include a balloon when air is released, a fish swimming through water, you doing a push down, I mean a push up. And finally, you should remember that Newton's three laws are important because they describe the motion of all objects in the universe. That concludes our lecture on Newton's third law.